So we at uh, Novatel Wireless here at Mobile World Congress. This is the MiFi 4510. It does uh, 4G now. So does that mean, uh, is it going to work in, in, for example, the Sprint network? No, this, okay. for, this is the Verizon announced LTE MiFi. So okay. it's first off you carry what we announced it with is Verizon. It can work anywhere on the Verizon LTE network. We have another MiFi, the 4082, that will be available for the Sprint's WiMAX now. So uh, this built-in, uh, how fast can it go, LTE? LTE, uh, it's, uh, the specs on it, it will do the full, uh, full up. The full speed of LTE. Full speed of LTE, whatever you're going to get on it. I know it's, I forget what the exact it's spec on it is. Much faster than 3G. Much faster. Yeah. The, uh, it's going to be, uh, we got press on here, we can actually tell you. Right. I'm the software person, so I can help you with that. So yeah, so the LTE, it's uh, yeah, put two to five megabytes up, five to twelve down. Cool. So it's and uh, so, how's it different from the previous one? Did you change the design or? Totally different. So the design from well, from the old 2200. I'm going to try the old Verizon my but totally different inside. Obviously, this still has a micro SD card on it. You have an e-ink display, which is new here. E-ink. E-ink. So you'll be able to see it's a little bit newer than the uh, LED that we have currently available. That's awesome e-ink, so it doesn't use any power Exactly. It so it's a minimal power for the longest battery life that was really important for us. The battery is going to be longer, right? Uh, it's going to be it's going to be longer on it, so it's uh, having now the full. Is there a newer processor inside to do, uh, take care of stuff? So this one is just going to be uh, the, well, let me see. This one, the LTE MiFi is... Just it's the newer version of the Verizon 2200, so it's you know, your basic MiFi on there. Some of the other ones, this for example is the 2372 or the 3352 here in Europe, as well as the, uh, so this is our uh, HSPA and then our WiMAX MiFi. These are newer and faster, and uh, what these will have on them is the MiFi operating system. The MiFi operating system is a Linux based operating system that's going to look like this. It allows you to put applications right on here and run things right on the MiFi. So one of the things we're doing is uh, we've got a DLNA server that we put on the MiFi device itself. So really working on making this as easy to use and as friendly for customers as possible. So one of the things that consumers have is how do we share the media? So so you have all kinds of apps. In, that's the differentiating thing with the Novatel Wireless. You have that's one of the di absolutely. That's one of our differentiators on here. Is the ability to have applications on here. There are more and more or? More and more on here. Right now it's available to trusted partners and people who have requested interest in it. Plans are to roll out and develop an uh, application store. It will be available for people right on the MiFi. It's going to have you know MiFi apps right yeah. on there. Can I help something. you? So there that you'll be able to have an application center. You can download and browse what is available on it. So you just type in the 192.168.101 uh, and that shows up. Actually you have to do it. It's even easier. For, it depends on the carrier. For an AT&T, for example, it's att.myfi. So that's something that's customized based on who you purchase it from. Make it easy for them. Nobody remembers 192.168.1.1. Nice. So can the MyFi run the whole day in the pocket non-stop and do something like not all. Voice over IP stuff. And uh, no, right now the 2372 that's out, uh, this runs for about four hours with uh, regular use. About three hours full streaming heavy use on it is what people have come out But if you turn the off the, the Wi Fi feature, right? Or if you would like some, somehow like uh, turn it off most of the time but send pings like at specific moments, well, it has could you like it last has for the whole day? It has a standby seat, but it lasts for about four to five hours if you're not doing anything. It goes into sleep mode. It really depends what you're doing. Obviously, the more devices you have with it, and then depending on what you're doing, it's sending traffic. So it's just like your iPhone or anything else. If you're watching video on it, it's going to go down faster than if you just send an email. But that's how it is. The, my, the Wi-Fi feature uses a lot of power. Of course. So it's uh, you know it's always broadcasting. So it's right. one of the great things about having that. You don't worry about your phone. That's. Cool. Great piece of and uh, you're also developing these uh, models, so, modules, is going to go inside the laptop and you're going to make a MiFi hotspot with a laptop. No, these work with, uh, these provide HS, uh, this is LTE access for yeah. the MiFi uh, through the laptops and so this is really focusing on the connectivity of embedded devices, not just laptops, but enabling any device that with this in it to access the LTE and the 3G networks. All right.